Yeah, delighted. I uh, really enjoyed that game. I think we've done what we spoke we were going to do. Came here, won in the five points, and we've done that early door. So after that, it was just about having a bit of fun and chucking the ball about, and we certainly done that. And um, yeah, it was good fun. That record is zooming into 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 focus right now. Yeah, closing on it. Um, yeah, we'll get there when I get there. So um, yeah, I've, <laughs> I've added the board and all that. So I'm happy. The um, Ireland game is fast approaching. Um, they don't come much bigger than this. A do or die game in the World Cup against the world number one. Exactly. Um, and like you said, do or die now. Um, now it's just for us to get things right, get a recovery in now and fire into, which is pretty much World Cup final for us. Um, so, yeah, it's we're going there to, to win um, and we're going to take huge confidence from today. And Yeah, like, we just have to get our preparation right going into next week. Oh, 100%. Um, you have to take your opportunities when they come, and like you said, you might only get two or three opportunities in the game, and you have to nail them. So, for us, it's just about taking the opportunities, like you said. Like, it's do or die now. Um, winner takes all. Um, then we, want, we want to get out of the group, and they want to get out of the group as well. So, it's both teams will be going handy for it. It's going to be a healthy game. Hell of a game. Hell of a game. Yeah, yeah. Bring it up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, they're a quality team. You've got to stop them first of all. But, yeah, we want to impose our game on them. Um, when we're playing at our best, we know we can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. And, yeah, we've got to play with speed, play with tempo and hold on to the ball against Ireland. And, yeah, we can definitely cause some problems. Thanks, mate. Uh, a slightly frustrating uh, World Cup, I guess, for me. But uh, no, it was great. It was great to be back out there with the boys, and great to get a chance to to show what I can do. Um, so yeah, it was really, it was really um, exciting game for me to me to play in, and uh, I'm just happy we got the job done, and it puts us in a really good position for for next week. We know we know what we need to do, um, and it's going to be really tough. Ireland are playing some amazing rugby at the moment. They're they're a great team, um, but we're gonna we're gonna have a really good training week and. Uh, it's going to be yeah, a great week for Scottish rugby leading into it and then a massive game against the number one team in the world. There, was, there seems to be a lot of pent-up frustration in your performance coming out tonight. Um, I'm not sure about that. Like Obviously, obviously, it's been frustrating not playing, but that's the way it is in professional sports. Sometimes you, you don't get the nod and the guys the guys have been going well. So, it's um, you know, you have to deal with that. And... Uh, that's the way it is and I suppose when you get your opportunity you just got to try and make sure you, you do what you can so you, you put your best foot forward and then it's sort of um, down to the selection process uh, so yeah we'll, we'll see what happens but um, but yeah it's um, it, was a, it was a bit of frustration but really I was just trying to get back out there and show what I could do it's good uh, Sam, attention now. I mean, obviously, great win tonight, but attention, attention to Ireland. Is this team beatable? Irish team? Yeah. Um, they're a fantastic side. They're number one in the world for a reason. Um, and because of that, you know, they have strengths all over the park, and justifiably so. But of course, any side in any sport, in any competition, are beatable. And um, we've got to make sure that we get a plan together. Um, we believe in that will, we believe will work and then we've got to commit 100% to it on the day Scott I mean there's, a, there's loads of Irish fans here but there's yeah. loads and loads of Scottish fans here um, you, know, you can hear them tonight they're everywhere they must be kind of give you a bit of inspiration it's amazing honestly I was actually just chatting to some of the lads saying how incredible I found to be I saw my parents and Neil this morning before the game and everyone was in kilts or Scotland tops and it's just brilliant I mean I've seen some of the uh, Irish footage and that's pretty cool as well and that's amazing and it should make for a real tasty atmosphere um, in Paris next week so um, yeah that's going to be pretty cool and it's amazing our sports have been amazing for the last 10 years really and we feel it we love it and even this felt like a home game for us walking out and the atmosphere we've had it's been sort of pinch yourself moments and we are very lucky to have it fantastic awesome cheers mate thanks a lot cheers